everyone, my name is Rashmi. Welcome to my channel Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful little butterfly. If you're after a written pattern, then follow the link in the description box below. We're going to start off with the head, and for this, grab hold of your white yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. We're going to now chain two, one and two. From here, we're starting round one by skipping our first chain and working six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. So let's skip this one and slip our hook in the second chain. Pull up a loop from there, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet of this round. We're going to work six of them all together in that same stitch. Here's second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now I can start on round two by bringing the stitches closer together. And from here, we're going to start working in a spiral. So we are going to work second round on top of your previous round. So slip your hook in the first single crochet of your previous round making sure you've gone through both um, strands. So you will see a V shape on the top and I've gone through both of them. There we go, pull up a loop from there, two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet off round two. We're going back in that same stitch to work another single crochet. Now we work two single crochets in that same stitch. This is called an increase. So each time when I say increase, we're working two single crochets in the same stitch. So in this round, we're going to be working six increases all together. That's one, two, three, four, five and my final one number six now we're going to move on to the next round and in this round you're going to start off by working a single crochet in your next stitch now from here I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds and we're going to follow this single crochet on with an increase so two single crochets in the next stitch. So here's your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet, increase, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round. And in this round, you're going to begin by working a single crochet in your first stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase, so two single crochets in the same stitch. And then we're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch again. So here's your combination. One single crochet, increase, one single crochet. One single crochet, increase, one single crochet going to com use this combination to complete this full round. It's one single crochet, increase, one single crochet. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 24. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. Here's my first one. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Second, third follow this on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch now here's your combination for this round three single crochets followed on with an increase three single crochets increase repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. we're now going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row Let's put our stitch marker back in place. 
follow these two single crochets on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch and then we're going to work two more single crochets in the next two stitches so here's your combination for this round two single crochets increase two single crochets two single crochets increase two single crochets repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 36 we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around in total you should have 36 single crochets in a row to finish one round once you finish one round you're going to repeat the same process five times to have five rounds of just single crochet so go ahead work five rounds of just single crochet each round containing 36 single crochets and meet me back here at the end of five rounds of single crochet your stitch count should still be 36 we're now going to start the next round with four single crochets in a row here's my first one let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place second third and fourth once you have your four single crochets in a row you're going to work a decrease in the next stitch so to do this you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch here and pull up a loop do the same with the stitch after that pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull up pull through all three in one go that is a decrease where this is your new combination for this round four single crochets followed on with a decrease and we're going to repeat that all the way around let's go ahead and show you one more time how to work a decrease so here's my second third and fourth single crochet let's follow this one with a decrease pull up a loop from two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go go ahead and work four single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 30. we're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row here's my first second third and let's work a decrease in the next two stitches so pull up a loop from the next stitch and the stitch after that three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three in one go so here's your repeat for this round three single crochets followed on with a decrease three single crochets a decrease repeat that all the way around and don't forget to put that stitch marker back in place so let's go ahead and count those stitches back one two three single crochets and there we go that's the start of my round so go ahead and finish this round and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. now before we start the next round we are going to take a minute and insert some security eyes into this butterfly's head and to do this you're going to first of all make sure that the stitch that you finished with is at the back so let's turn the head over this way and ensure that it is in the center of the back as well as it is at the moment i'm going to be using one of these sewing pins so i'm going to insert that in the center just to identify where the center of these stitches or the the back is right here now from here i'm going to count and find out round 10. there's round one round two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this is my round ten i'm going to be inserting some security eyes between round nine and ten so the space just here so these are the security eyes i'm using i'm going to insert it so if this is the center i'm going to count three square as the three stitches on this side so one two three and insert one eye here screw this in like this and there we go and once it's in I can remove this pin 
And now I'm going to count six stitches across the other side, ensuring that it's gone in the right round. To do that, you might have to turn your round upside down like this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is a stitch I want to insert the next eye in from the back. So let's do that. And there we go. Just ensure that they both have gone in the same round before you put the security backing. And even before you do that, you're going to ensure that you're happy with the positioning of the eye. If you would like them further apart from one another, then you can adjust that now. Because once the backing goes on, it doesn't move. I'm happy with the positioning, so I'm going to go ahead and put the backing on. And there we go. Now that part is complete. Let's start the next round. And for this round, we are going to have two single crochets in a row followed on with a decrease. So let's work our two single crochets first. Here's my first, second, and we're going to put our stitch marker back in place and let's work the decrease together. Pull up a loop from the next stitch and from the stitch after that, three loops on a hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. So here's your repeat for this round. Two single crochets followed on with a decrease, two single crochets a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's go ahead and put that stitch marker back in place and follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a stitch or pull up a loop from each of the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. So just like this, go ahead and finish this round off with a single crochet, followed on with a decrease, single crochet, a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. We're now going to finish up with this color and change it to our next color. To do this, you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. So pull up a loop from there and make it go through the loop that you already had on your crochet hook. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull it out of this stitch and pull it up to secure this in place. There we go. Now this completes the head of this butterfly. Before we change the colour, let's go ahead and fill this head up with some fibre fill. I've now stuffed the head up with some fibre fill. Let's go ahead and attach a new colour before we start the next round. For this, turn the head upside down and we're going to attach the new colour by slipping your hook in one of the stitches along the top like this. Loop the new yarn on your hook and pull it through the stitch. Once you've done that, you're going to give it a little knot in place just to secure it. There we go. And from here, let's slip our hook back into the same stitch and pull up a loop. Chain one. Going back into the same stitch, we're going to work a single crochet. That's my first single crochet of this round. From here, I'm going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish our first round here in blue, you will have 12 single crochets all together. So go ahead and work 12 single crochets in a row all together and then meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should still be 12. Now we're going to work our next round. And in this, you're going to work two single crochets in a row to start off. Make sure that this little bit of yarn that will be attached with is at the back, out of the way. So here's my first single crochet, second single crochet, followed on with an increase in the next stitch. So two single crochets in the same stitch. 
that's one and here's the second one so here's your repeat for this round two single crochets followed on with an increase two single crochets increase repeat that all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 16. we're now going to slip stitch in the next stitch and change the color over to white so to do this you're going to slip your hook in the next stitch pull up a loop make the loop go through the loop that was already on your crochet hook let's go ahead and snip this yarn off pull it out of the stitch and pull this up like this now let's go ahead and grab the new color or the old color even and we're going to attach that along any of the uh, top of any of these stitches along the top here so slip your hook inside hook the new yarn on and pull it through let's give this a little knot in place and now we can slip our hook back in the same stitch pull up a loop work a single crochet back in the same stitch we go and work our first single crochet here now we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around in one round you should have a total of 16 single crochets I'm going to follow the same method twice to have two rounds of just single crochet so go ahead work two rounds of just single crochet in white color and then meet me back here at the end of two rounds of single crochet your stitch count is still 16 we're now going to change over the color to pink so let's work a slip stitch in the next stitch over like this and let's go ahead and snip this yarn off pull this out of this stitch and pull this up to secure this in place to attach the new color pull it through one of these stitches on the top so hook it or loop it onto your hook and pull it through give this a little knot in place and we are now going to slip our hook back into that same stitch chain one back into the same stitch we go and work our first single crochet follow this on with another single crochet in our next stitch Follow this on with another single crochet, making the total to three single crochets in a row. We are now going to work an increase in the next stitch. So two single crochets in the same stitch here. And here is your repeat for this round. Two single, three single crochets followed on with an increase, three single crochets increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round your stitch count should be 20. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches along the top across all the way around. All together you will have 20 single crochets in a row to finish one round. So go ahead and work one round of single crochet and I'm going to slip my crochet my stitch marker in here to identify the start of my round so go ahead and work one round of single crochet and meet me back here at the end of one round of single crochet your stitch count is still 20 we're going to finish off with this color let's go ahead and work a stitch slip stitch in the next stitch and snip this yarn off pull it out and change the color over to white again to get that stripey effect pull the new yarn through the stitch and give it a little knot in place to secure it going to chain one back in the same stitch to work our first single crochet and now for this round we're going to follow the single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around you will need 20 single crochets in a row to finish one round after that you're going to follow the same instructions one more time 
to have two rounds of just single crochet in white and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet, stitch count is still 20. Let's work a slip stitch in the next stitch over and change the colour back over to blue to get this lovely stripey effect. So we're going to have white, pink, white, blue, white, pink, white, blue. So grab your blue yarn and attach it on top part of any of these stitches again, just the same way as we've been doing so far. And there we go. Now from here, we're going to work chain one, a single crochet in the same stitch. Follow this on with a single crochet in all of the stitches in this round. So we're going to have two rounds of just single crochet again. So go ahead and work two rounds of just single crochet in blue colour this time and then meet me back here. At the end of two rounds of single crochet in blue, stitch count is still 20. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Go ahead and snip this yarn off. And let's change it over to white again. There we go. And from here, slip your hook back inside, chain one, and single crochet in the same stitch. Now you're going to follow the single crochet on with two more single crochets. So here's my first, here's my second. So we've got three single crochets in a row now, and we're going to follow that on with a decrease. Now to do this, you're going to pull up a loop from the next stitch and the stitch after that. So three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. Let's move this little bit of yarn out of the way and let's show you this one more time. Three single crochets, one, two, three, follow on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. So here's your combination for this round. Three single crochets followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 16. Now let's go ahead and work a single crochet in our next stitch to start the next round. And follow this on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this round, you will have a total of 16 single crochets in a row. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of one round of single crochet, your stitch count is still 16. We're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and change the color over to pink this time. Let's go ahead and snip this yarn off. There we go. And once we've done this, we're going to start exactly the same way by working chain one and a single crochet in the same stitch. So chain one and a single crochet and follow a single crochet in every one of these stitches and work one more round of single crochet in pink this time. So you will still have a total of 16 single crochets in a row. Go ahead and work that and meet me back here. After this single crochet round, we're going to start the next round with a single crochet. And let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with another single crochet. So we'll have two in a row. Follow that on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. So here's your combination, two single crochets followed on with a decrease, two single crochets 
decrease, repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. Let's go ahead and slip stitch in the next stitch. We're going to change the color over to white this time and work one whole round of single crochets. You will have a total of 12 single crochets to finish that one round. So go ahead, change the color and work one round of single crochet in white and meet me back here. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 12. Let's start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. And we're going to put our stitch marker back in place. Let's follow this single crochet on with another one in the next stitch. Once you have your two single crochets in a row, then you're going to follow this on with a decrease in the next stitch so pull up a loop from the next two stitches three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three in one go and this is your repeat for this round two single crochets followed on with a decrease and two single crochets followed on with another decrease you should be able to fit three of these all together let's work this together really so we've got two single crochets done and here's our next decrease again one last time two single crochets and follow on with a decrease there we go now for the last time we're going to change the color so let's take this off and slip stitch in the next stitch over I'm going to change the color over to blue again. And slip this into any of these stitches again. Right, from here. Let's go ahead and work one round of just single crochet. So to do this, you're going to chain one back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. Follow that on with eight more to finish this round. So you all together, you will have nine single crochets in a row. Here's my second, third, fourth, Fifth, make sure to move all those strands out of the way. Sixth, seventh, eighth, and my ninth single crochet. Now, last round left. Before we do that, go ahead and fill this up with fiber fill and meet me back here. I've now stuffed this body up with some fiber fill. Let's go ahead and work our last round. And for this, you're going to work three decreases all together. Pull up a loop from the first stitch and the second. Three loops on a hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Here's one, two, three loops on a hook, yarn over, pull through all three. That's the second done, and the third one. One, two, yarn over, pull through all three. So we've got a tiny little gap still left. We're going to finish off with this color by working a slip stitch in the next stitch, and then later we will use a darning needle to close this gap off. So let's go ahead and work a slip stitch in the next stitch. Now we're going to leave a long tail and snip this yarn off, pull it out of the stitch and there we go. Now we can use a darning needle later to stitch this gap up and there we go. Give this body a little squeeze to ensure even distribution of the fibre fill. 
and here we are. The body and the head is now complete. Now onto the wings and for this let's grab hold of the pink yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. Slip your hook inside and let's chain two. One, two. To start round one you're going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's my first single crochet. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap of these between these stitches. On to round two now. Let's slip our hook in the top part of your first single crochet of your previous round to work in a spiral and work an increase. Here's my first single crochet, going back into that same stitch to work the second single crochet of this round. So that's two single crochets in the same stitch. In this round you will have six increases. Here's the second increase. Third increase, fourth increase, fifth increase, and the final one, increase number six. Once we've got this, we're going to start round three. Let's start by working a single crochet in our first stitch. I'm going to start using stitch markers from here. Let's go ahead and mark the start of this round. And follow this single crochet on with an increase in the next stitch. And here is your combination for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet, increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 18. Now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch. Let's put our stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. And then we're going to work another single crochet in the next stitch. So here's your combination one single crochet increase one single crochet one single crochet increase one single crochet so go ahead work that combination all the way around and meet me back here at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow the single crochet on with single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. In one round, you will have 24 single crochets all together. From here, you're going to follow the same instructions four times to have four rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work four rounds of just single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of four rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 24. Now we're going to fasten off by working a slip stitch in the next stitch like this and let's go ahead and snip this yarn off now we have just created the bigger bump or the this part of the wing we're going to now create this one and then we're going to connect the two together so let's leave that aside and start again by working a slip knot chain two round one six single crochets in the first the second chain from your hook and that's your first single crochet second third fourth fifth and your sixth one once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. Now on to round two. For this, you're going to work an increase in every one of these stitches, starting from the first single crochet of your previous round. 
that's my first single crochet going back into that same stitch for another is my second increase third increase fourth increase fifth increase and final one increase number six After working six increases, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Now we're going to start the next round. And for this, you're going to work two single crochets. Here's my first and second. I'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds now. And from here, we're going to follow these two single crochets on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch and here is your repeat for this round two single crochets followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around as we only have a few stitches i'm just going to work this guy this one with you guys two more single crochets and then an increase And last time, two single crochets followed on with an increase again. Now at the end of this round, you should have a total of 16 single crochets all together. From here, we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in my first stitch. And let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And from here, I'm going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish one round, you will have 16 single crochets in a row. Once you have done that, you're going to repeat the same process three times all together to have three rounds of just single crochet. So go ahead, work three rounds of just single crochet and then meet me back here. At the end of three rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 16. We're now going to connect this little bit with the other one that we created for the wing. Let's stick this inside. And we're going to connect the two of these little bits with a slip stitch in the stitch where we finished off. So slip your hook inside this stitch. And from here, we're going to pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop that was already on your hook. So this connects this and this little bit together. Now from here I'm going to chain one and work a single crochet in that same stitch. And now I'm going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. You will notice that you will have 24 single crochets around this one and then 16 around this one. So go ahead, work all of those stitches in one go and then meet me back here. Once you finish working your row of single crochets, this is what your wing will look like now. So it's connected and we can start working stitches across the top as one. Now from here, you're going to again start working in a spiral. So slip your hook in the top part of your first single crochet and work one single crochet there. I'm going to start using my stitch marker to identify the start of each round. And from here, we are going to work eight single crochets all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once you have your eight single crochets, we are going to work a decrease in the next stitch. So slip your hook inside, pull up a loop, do the same one with the, with the next one and pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Let's work this together one more time. So eight single crochets to begin. One, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, and eight. Followed on with a decrease. Slip your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, do the same with a stitch after that, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Just like this, finish this round off with eight single crochets and followed on with a decrease and repeat that all the way around. You should be able to fit this combination two more times. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. We're now going to start the next round and in this, you're going to work four single crochets in a row. Here's my second. Let's go ahead first stitch marker back in place. Third and fourth. Follow this on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. So here's your combination for this round. Four single crochets, decrease, four single crochets, decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 30. We're now going to start the next round. And for this, let's work a single crochet in our first stitch. Put the stitch marker back in place. And we're going to follow this single crochet on with a single crochet in every one of these stitches all the way around. To finish this one round, you will need 30 single crochets in a row. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. At the end of one round of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 30. We're now going to start our next round. And in this round, we're going to work three single crochets in a row. One. Two. And three. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker back in place. And follow these three single crochets on with a decrease. So pull up a loop from the next two stitches. Yarn over and pull through all three of these loops in one go and that's your repeat for this round three single crochets followed on with a decrease three single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 24. we're now going to work a few stitches before we work our last round so we're going to work nine single crochets in a row so that the stitch that we finished with ends up in the corner over here before we work our top stitches to close the gap between here. So let's go ahead and work nine single crochets. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, after working this, you're going to make sure that the stitches are close together like this. And we are now going to start working our one last row to close this gap. To do this, you're going to slip your hook into the next stitch and making sure that the hook goes through the back of these stitches as well. So when you look from the top, you will see that the hook has gone through the front and the back of these stitches yarn over pull up a loop and pull through both that's my first single crochet we're going to be working single crochets all the way across let's show you one more time slip your hook in the next stitch and at the back as well slip it into the next stitch at the back so that the hook is going through front and the back of these stitches pull up a loop from there and work your single crochet and just like this you're going to work a single crochet in all of these stitches all the way to the end. Almost to the end now. And the last stitch here. Now once you finished all the way to the end here you're going to chain one, leave a long tail and snip this yarn off, pull this out of the stitch and pull it up to close this off. Now you're going to follow the same instructions one more time to create another one of these wings. So go ahead and do that and meet me back here. 
I've now finished with the wings. We are now going to move on to making these little circular things that we're going to stitch on top of the wings. So one is going to be bigger than the other. This one is going to be made with two rounds and this one is going to be made with three. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab hold of your blue yarn and work a slip knot using whatever method you prefer. And we are going to chain two. That's chain one and two. To start round one, we're going to skip the first chain and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. That's my first single crochet. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And the sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gaps between the stitches. And let's start round two. Here, I'm going to slip my crochet hook in the top part of my first single crochet and work six increases. That's my first single crochet going back into that same stitch to work the second. Is my second increase. Third increase, fourth increase, fifth increase, and final one, increase number six. Now, from here, you're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch to finish off and make the circular thing of this size. So, just after two rounds. And after, once you've done that, you're going to start the same process one more time. And I'm going to show you the third round. So the second time when you do it, you're going to continue with this and start the third round. For third round, you're going to work one single crochet in our first stitch, followed on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Let's use our stitch marker for this. And this is your repeat for this round. One single crochet followed on with an increase. Single crochet. Increase. Working it all the way around until we reach the end of this round. And the last time, one single crochet followed on with an increase. There we go. Now we've worked our three rounds. We're going to take this stitch marker off and work a slip stitch in the next stitch. So slip your hook in there, pull up a loop, make this loop go through the loop that was already on your crochet hook. Let's go ahead and leave a long tail and snip this yarn off, pull it out of the stitch and pull it up to secure it. Now you're going to make one more of these. So you should have two of each, two little ones and two big ones. Finish all of that off and then meet me back here. Onto the antennas now. And for this, let's work a slip stitch. Chain two, one, two, Skip the first chain, work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Pull on this to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And now we're going to work the next round. In this, you're going to start by working a single crochet in your first single crochet of your previous round. Follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the next stitch. I'm going to use a stitch marker just to identify the start of my round. Follow this on with a single crochet 
and then an increase. And for the last time, single crochet and an increase. There we go. Now this makes your stitch count to nine. We're going to start the next round by working one round of just single crochets. Slip your hook inside the first stitch. Here's my first single crochet. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh, eighth, and ninth, and this completes my third round. Moving on to fourth round, make sure to turn it the right way around. Here we go. And from here, you're going to work one single crochet in your first stitch, stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with a decrease, so you pull up a loop. From the next two stitches, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three in one go. And that's your combination for this round. One single crochet, followed on with a decrease. And let's work the last stitch together as well. One single crochet. And follow this on with the last decrease of this round. This will bring your stitch count back to six. Now from here I'm going to work two rounds of just single crochet. Because the number of stitches are so little, I'm going to just count 12 and work 12 single crochets all together. So you're working two rounds of single crochet. Each round will have six single crochets. So go ahead and work that and meet me back here. After two rounds of single crochet, this is what your antenna will look like. We're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch. And snip this yarn off, leaving a long tail. Pull it out of the stitch. Pull it down. And we're going to follow the same instructions one more time to create another one of these antennas. Go ahead and make one, of, one more of these and meet me back here for assembly. Now onto the assembly and before we begin we are going to first of all embroider a little smile on this butterfly. Grab hold of some black yarn and thread it into your darning needle and now we're going to trace that little smile here and to do this you're going to insert the needle into the stitches at the bottom here and guide it to come out from two rounds above to trace a triangle so we're going to slip our needle and pull it out all the way and we're going to go on the opposite side I'm going to slip the needle in this side and make it come out from the bottom again so we are kind of tracing a triangle so I uh, went from here, got my thread out from there, and then opposite side, and we're coming back from where we begun. So, like this, making a little line like this. Now you're going to take your needle, slip it under this line that we've created, and pull it down. And there is the smile of this little butterfly. I tend to usually give this these two bits of yarn a little knot in place, making sure nothing gets pulled too tightly and everything has its perfect place. And there we go. So once you've finished this, you can give it a double knot if you like, just to make sure that it is nice and secure. And after doing that, you're going to take the needle and slip it back into that same stitch. So, at the base of this stitch, just where we came out, uh, the needle came out from, we're going to slip it back into that, guide the needle through some fibre fill and make it come out from another side of the head. 
And from here, I can go ahead and snip this yarn off. You may be able to see this, so you're going to give the head a little squeeze and that should disappear. Repeat the same thing with the next bit of yarn as well. Now onto the wings and to do this you're going to first of all make sure that the head is nice and flat. Give it a little squeeze so it's a little bit more flatter than normal like this. This will help you with the assembly. So squeeze the body as well so it's quite narrow on the side. Hold it backwards and we are now going to attach the wings at the back. While you're doing this you're going to hold both of these in place and we're going to have about two stitches from the top and two stitches at the bottom. So this is where we're going to be stitching the wings on. When you're doing this, be sure to have the end of this little wing at the bottom of these two pink stripes. So I'm going to start from there. So you will notice that both of the pink bits are actually in line with your pink thread that you used in the body as well. So this is where we're going to be attaching the wings. When you're doing this, you're going to be holding the body uh, and the wing close together. You can use some sewing pins to hold it all in place. You can have a several um, sewing pins on the side. And when you're stitching this on, you're going to follow the natural curve that this wing has. And stitch both of these on. So just to summarise, you're going to have the top of this in this pink round just at the beginning and the last bit will be finishing off in the bottom pink round. When you're connecting the two together you're going to follow the natural curve that you can see at the moment. You're going to have two stitches in the middle at the top and two stitches in the middle at the bottom. So go ahead stitch the two things together and meet me back here. Wings are now on. Now onto the antennas and these little round little bits that we're going to be adding on to these wings. So when it comes to the antenna, you're going to be stitching it around round four. So that's one, two, three, four. So we're going to be stitching it just around here and the other one on the other side. So go ahead and do that. And when it comes to these two little dots, what I would suggest for you to do first of all is pull the center and snip this yarn off keeping a tiny little tail so when you're stitching this on this stitch doesn't come out and stick outwards so you're going to coil it in the middle and hold it in place and then stitch this all the way around when you're doing this be sure not to go through all the way from the back because of, uh, the stitches will be visible at the back. So we want to just catch the stitch all the, uh, just on the top from here. And we're going to attach these. The little circles will go on this side and the antennas. So go ahead and do those ones and meet me back here. Sewing all the components together, let's get rid of this little gap by threading this bit of yarn into your darning needle and stitching it all together like this Once we've done this, the gap has disappeared. We are going to fasten off this thread by creating a loop. Make the needle go through the loop and pull it down all the way. And once we've done this, this would tie the knot in place and the thread will now be secure. Slip your needle back into that stitch guided to come out go through some fiber fill and come out from the back somewhere pull it out and we're going to now cut this thread off and there we go our butterfly is now complete let me zoom out a little there we are 
If you enjoyed making this butterfly with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.